All right, so this is going to be an Amazon item review of the fork or force, I don't know if it's pronounced, how it's pronounced, uh, silicone spatula set. All right, so this is an eight piece set. All right, it was super cheap, so I decided to buy two sets because my parents kind of wanted one for baking, so I bought them a set as well. Um, it was seven sixty before tax, so yeah, pretty cheap, less than a dollar a piece. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So it comes sealed in a baggie like this. Each one is separated with these. Um, I don't know if you can actually tear these apart or separate them by tearing them, but anyways, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so it has this flap, just peel it up. And we're just gonna, oh, okay, it looks like the adhesive is actually really strong, so it just tears. Okay, so it looks like you can't really, like, reseal it in this packaging afterwards, it gets all messed up. Okay, so, we got this one, which is kind of like a spoon, alright? It's actually super, super flexible, as you can see. Um, depending on your use, that might be a good thing, that might be a bad thing. Okay, we got this one here. Okay, it's a little bit less flexible, okay, but the center is solid. All right, then you got these smaller things, which is for, you can use them however you want, but I think they're designed for like jars so that you can get like um, the condiments out, like peanut butter or mayonnaise or things like that. They're also pretty flexible. All right, the top actually that's weird, it twists. So, I don't know if that's going to be, that might be kind of a an issue because there's like a gap there, so food is going to get caught in there. I don't really like the design of that, um, but we'll see. I just bought these, so I haven't really used them much. I might, I'll, I'll rinse them off and then I'll give a few examples and use them. Then you got this smaller spatula, all right, also for like baking and things like that. The back of the handle is really flexible, but in the middle is pretty solid. I don't know what they put inside. It looks like all of them are pretty similar in that sense. Same thing here. So they put I probably like a plastic tube or something in there. All right, then you got this one for like spreading frosting, peanut butter, whatever onto your bread. So we're gonna test these out, all right? I'm gonna go get a few things to spread them on. Let me go rinse these off real quick and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So we got some peanut butter and we got some Nutella or Nutella, Nutella, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and try using this to make a spread. So we got all of these. I'm gonna use the giant one for spreading, of course. So let's go set these aside. All right, let me dry it off. Okay, so we're gonna use this one and we're gonna get some peanut butter out and spread it on the bread. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and just get it on half the sandwich. Spreads nicely. Oops, sorry, I'm going off camera. So yeah, spreads really nicely. Very easy to use, works well. Okay, I am destroying the bread a little bit. Sorry, I am going out of view again. Okay, so now that we got that, let's actually see how easy or difficult it is to clean. There's still a bunch of peanut butter stuck on it, so I'm gonna just try and get it off the bread, on the bread. And as you can see from a clean piece of bread, it comes off pretty nicely. Okay, so let's go over to the sink and clean it off and show you how easy that is, all right? We'll be back. All right, we're at the sink now, so let's go ahead and see how easy it is to clean. Just get a little running water. All right. And it is, it does hold the grease a little bit, so we're gonna get a little bit of soap. You don't even need a sponge, okay? It looks like it cleans super easily. Just clean it off. Now there's too much soap on my hands. Okay, just like that, and it feels super clean already. It's not slippery or anything. It feels like all the grease is washed out. And then you can easily just shake this out to dry it. All right, and there we go. Nice and clean. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the Nutella. All right, so I'm back. Um, we don't eat Nutella too often. We had this little container and it's been sitting a long time, so let's see how it goes. But same thing. Oh, also this spreader, one side is a bit longer, so it's kind of like a thick butter knife. 
Okay, so scooping wise, all right, you can scoop it up pretty well. Again, this Nutella is somewhat old, so it's kind of thicker. I don't think I'm gonna be able to spread this on the bread. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what we can do. I think I'm just gonna end up smushing the bread. Yeah, no, the bread's just gonna get destroyed. So I'm gonna slowly, carefully try and just get that off of the spatula. Okay, and it looks like it works well. So because the silicone is like somewhat non-stickish, it helps with kind of spreading that around. All right, and there we go. Okay, so next I'm gonna try with like some honey on a bowl or on the plate, and then I'm just gonna use the spatula to kind of spread it around, not this one, but the baking one, just to show how well it can kind of squeegee the stuff off. Let's go ahead and clean this again. And yeah, see you at the sink. All right, so I don't like wasting this stuff, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually squeegee this off and then eat it. All right, here you can see it cleans off really nicely. Even without sponges or water, you can just, probably you can just wipe it with a um, paper towel and it will clean off pretty well. All right, so add a little soap to get out the grease and it washes off super easily. Okay, get all the soap off my hands. Yeah, so the silicone um, material, the silicone material is very easy to clean, as you can see. No scrubbing, nothing, just a little water and it's nice and clean. All right, so let's go on to the honey test. All right, see you guys over in with some honey on the plate. By the way, hopefully I won't poison myself. <laughs> This Nutella um, was Best Buy July 19, 2018. It tastes normal. There's there's no sign of anything weird in it. But if I die, this is probably why. All right. So anyways, we're going to go get some honey and spread it on the plate. And then I'm going to just put it in here as well. All right. See you guys when I got that. All right. So I'm back. So I'm going to move the sandwich aside here. Then I'm going to get some honey and just pour it on the plate. This honey comes out, come on. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the sandwich, but I just kind of wanted to see how good it is at scraping it off the plate. I would assume honey would be kind of difficult to scrape up, so let's see. So we got this spatula. Normally people aren't gonna be using it for this kind of purpose, but let's go ahead and see. And you can see it scrapes it off the plate really nicely. Let me actually zoom in. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on the sandwich. It's gonna be a weird peanut butter honey Nutella sandwich. I don't usually eat this kind of mixtures of stuff, but we'll see, it might taste good. All right, so let's scoop up all the honey. Get that onto the peanut butter sandwich. All right, so if you're using this for like um, baking, um, it looks like it'll be pretty well, pretty good. Again, honey is actually sticks to the plate really well, so it's not a usual test that people would use this kind of spatula for, but um, just so you can see how it would work. All right, let's fold this up. I'm gonna eat this. Mm-hmm. The honey flavor is too strong. <laughs> I should have put less, but... Well, let's scrape it all up. It's a pretty nice spatula set. Alright. I'm going to show cleaning this off, as well as cleaning off the plate. So let me finish this sandwich. And I'll be back. Oh no! I thought I hit the record button, but apparently not. But anyways... I just used warm water to clean it. I didn't use a sponge, I didn't use soap. Because it's honey, it's, there's no grease in it, so it cleans off really easily. All right, same thing with the plate, I just used warm water. Usually if you're using soap, it's more for the grease, not for stuff that dissolves in water, so yeah. All right, cleaned up nicely. All right, so next I'm gonna show the little, or the long handle, small thing to use with this, okay? So I'm gonna scrape out some hoisin sauce here. 
All right, you can use this on whatever you want. <laughs> as it is just what I had that had a small opening. So we're gonna test that out, all right? So let me get that and I'll be back. All right, so we got two sizes, the longer one and the shorter one. I'm gonna use the longer one. It's basically the same idea. Let's open this up. All right, so let's pretend that you kind of used up all of it and there's just a bunch stuck around the edge. So you can use this to kind of squeegee it. So you can see it scrapes it off the wall pretty easily. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if you can see, but you can't really get up to the top edge there. So I'm not eating the hoisin sauce, so I'm just going to kind of try and get it all back in the bottle. All right, well, that's going to be wasted. Let's try the smaller one and see if we can get a better reach here. Um, only a tiny bit of better reach. So if you have bottles that are shaped like this, the top you're not going to be able to get. But you can get all the way down to the bottom, which is kind of nice. They should include one that kind of curves a little so that you can get these. That's more like an L shape. But I guess that will be a little tough because depending on the the length of the neck of the bottle, it might not work well. So anyways, that's that. Let's go ahead and clean this up as well. This is a little greasy, so I'm going to get some soap and wash it off with soap. Okay, so again, the one thing I don't like with this design is they put these, um, these little, I don't know why they put these grooves in it. Maybe it's to hold it onto the plastic piece better so it doesn't slide around. But um, that part makes it so if you do use something that cleans it, it might get stuck in there. But because it's all silicone, um, silicone cleans off really easily. So it's probably not too big of a deal. You can always just use like a brush or something to get it out. All right, so now for my final thoughts and review. All right, so let me go grab all these spatulas. All right, so here are my final thoughts. Um, they are pretty flexible and actually, oops, I got some breadcrumbs, hold on. I'll be okay, so it's nice that they're soft and flexible so that they conform to the um, dish or bowl or whatever that you're scraping it out of, all right? Um, the other thing I like is it's one solid piece. There's no cracks in these, all right? So as you can see, these are all a completely solid piece. So that way no food will get caught in little crevices or anything like that, except maybe these little holes, but um, that's part of the design so you can hang them up somewhere. Again, these pieces, I don't know, these little grooves, they should have put them up higher so that they won't get food and stuff stuck in them, but uh, not too big of a deal. They did clean off really easily. So in comparison to other ones that I've gotten in the past, so I've got these before. I don't know if this material is better or worse or anything. Here you can see how flexible this is. This one, because they put the thing all the way through it, you can only kind of flex the, the tip a bit more. This one, it's kind of more flexible further down, but it does flex really well. Okay, but these kinds, um, because they have this pull removable pulling off part, so food can get caught in this edge here and get inside here. So this design I, I like a lot more. It's easier to clean. The only thing is um, I haven't used these long enough, so I'm not sure, but sometimes these handles will kind of get gross. So it could be that this kind of plastic is better in the long run to keep the handles nice. Um, but yeah, as far as like cleaning wise, because it can get food and stuff in here, um, it's kind of not as nice. I'd have to clean these and then I have to leave this off, let it dry off, and then I can put it back. You don't want to leave, put these on with water in it because um, then it can get moldy under. So that kind of eliminates that issue. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. I'll put a link in the description to these. Um, uh, so if you wanted to buy them, you can. Um, but yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.